Welcome into In Touch with Steve Chirundolo, 2023 edition. Coach, we have made it. We would have had a game under your belt, unfortunately it was postponed. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, obviously everyone's got a lot of training, you're antsy to get back into game mode. So how was that news received and how'd you pass it on to the players? The passing on is actually uh, a little melodramatic. Just say, hey guys, the game's been canceled. And that's that. I think uh, the longer you spend in this industry, the more you realize there are always speed bumps. You have to be good at expecting the unexpected all the time. So on the field and off the field, and that was just another episode, I guess, of more of that. But we're prepared for it. You know, for loading purposes, we were able to give the guys what they needed so they're physically ready for this week and this grueling season. Since you uh, had a little Saturday off where MLS season pass on Apple TV, were you able to tune in? Anything stick out for you? Yeah, it was a wonderful experience on Apple TV. Um, I haven't had an afternoon off where I just watched football all day long. Um, it reminded me of my playing days. And you would play on a Friday night or a Saturday and watch the games on the Saturday or the Sunday, whatever your off day is. It was awesome. Sat there and watched TV on Apple TV, all these quality games with my family. So it was, it was quite enjoyable. That's a good visual I have you there, the family on the couch. Yeah, maybe screaming at the TV a little bit for maybe a refereeing decision, who knows. Well, but it's, it's more of, Dad, who are you for? And the kids um, get to the kids get to choose which colors they like and which players they like watching or, or, or favor. Good. So I try to be neutral, although I'm always not. There are some good colors there. I think it was a Cincinnati Houston. It was this bright blue and this bright orange. So it's like a nice feast on the eyes. You guys will obviously get to kick your season this week. That's the Portland Timbers who did have a game Monday. They uh, got three points against Sporting Kansas City. So they'll be coming here to build it. Your expectations about what the Timbers will bring for a game there? Yeah, we saw them uh, in preseason. A very good, solid squad as they always are. A very difficult team to beat. I think they have improved this season. They will be better. They are certainly deeper. And a team will have to obviously beat if we want to stay on top of the West. And I do see them certainly playing a very important role in deciding who will be the best team in the West this year. Championship ring. Have you have you ever had a championship ring on your finger? You're gonna get one now. No, I've never actually seen one live. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, playing my career in Europe, I'm not too accustomed to the little championship ring. Um, they don't have it there. No, they do not. And uh, I'm ecstatic to be home. I'm ecstatic to have done uh, my part at earning a ring. And I'm super grateful that uh, our club has decided to take that step and make it a tradition in our sport. It's, it's gonna be nice. Obviously, this is the first time at the stadium with a full house and a, a competitive game with the supporters there. Uh, obviously, do uh, you connect the dots a little bit about see where you've come from and where you're starting up again? In a year's time, I think we've been able to progress the program and the relationship between the fans and the team and the club one step forward and one step more. So I think it's been a, a very useful and productive year. We'd like to do themes with you, Steve. I know you're ready for these. We, catch, we don't catch him off guard. He, ha he always has an answer for everything. So ready to go. Now, the theme this week is weather. Yeah. We had a lot of it in Los Angeles. It was the reason the uh, LAFC Galaxy the game has been moved to 4th of July. So I'm gonna ask you some weather-based questions, get your thoughts. Played in Germany, so maybe have some good answers here. Worst weather game that you played in? I believe it was in Kaiserslautern uh, with the United States national team. We played against the Polish national team. In the middle of the winter, I believe it was February. Snow everywhere, couldn't really see anything. Orange nice. ball? Orange ball for sure, uh, which is standard in most games. In, in January, February in Germany. Yeah, super cold, lots of snow, fun, but still very, very cold, very cold. What is the most fun element to play in? You mentioned snow, you obviously have rain, wind, heat, which is uh, the one you would prefer. The worst is wind. Yeah. The wind kills our sport. A rain is great, nice drizzle, no wind, low 50s, mid 50s, absolute perfect weather to play in. Your favorite season? My favorite season is definitely the summer. Let me ask you though about playing in Germany because they do have a winter break. So that is something everyone honors. It's probably too cold to play there in January. What would you do during that time? Find the sun. So uh, we would travel to Dubai, which is not too far from Germany. Or um, if we had enough time, I would, we would hop on a flight home to uh, San Diego. And then back to training. You would have the indoor training? No, nope, it's all outdoors. So In the cold? It's in the cold. Um, you do try to escape to the south of Spain or Portugal um, for a week to get onto fields because a lot of times the fields are frozen and not playable in the winter. And so you will try to get away for that short time, amount of time to regroup before you start the second half of the season. But for the most part, you just kind of deal with the elements. 
This is probably a throwaway question. I'm gonna ask it anyway. Would you rather play in 110 degree weather or 10 degree weather? 110. 110. Can't take the guy out of SoCal. As we are enjoying this weather in the late winter months, in touch with Steve Trundolo. Coach is gonna get ready with LAFC Saturday afternoon as they take on the Portland Timbers. Yeah.